Hey, what is up guys? Bo HD here from PhoneDag.com and the wait is finally over. The Google Pixel 4a has been made official at an even lower price than what was originally expected. For $349, you can get a new Google Pixel smartphone with the same exact main camera sensor found in last year's premium Google Pixel 4 and of course, Google's clean and simple operating system. The Pixel 4a is right in line with the other Pixel devices in terms of packaging. It's incredibly minimal and we only have the hashtag Team Pixel branding on the rear. If we peel off the plastic tabs and lift open the top of the box, we'll find the matte black Pixel 4a sitting right on top. Underneath, we have some paperwork that includes a SIM card removal tool and the accessories include a USB-C charging cable, an OTG or on-the-go connector for transferring data from your old device to the Google Pixel 4a, and of course we have an 18-watt fast charging wall adapter, all of which pretty standard stuff. Now the first impression I got when I unwrapped it from the plastic packaging was that it feels surprisingly good considering it is made of plastic, and I think that has a lot to do with the texture coating they sprayed on top of it that provides some extra grip. And the overall size, while relatively small nowadays, and definitely smaller than my current phone, the OnePlus 8 Pro, is just about perfect, and it should allow for some pretty decent one-handed usability. It's still a little bit big for me to reach my thumb comfortably to the other corner of the display, but uh, it still fits really, really well in my hand, and is definitely less of a stretch than most other phones I've been using recently. What's noteworthy with the build is first and foremost, the square camera module that sports a single 12 megapixel main sensor, the same sensor found in the Google Pixel 4, which can take incredible photos. You don't get a wide angle sensor or an ultra wide sensor or even a macro lens. So it's not gonna be for everyone, but you do get one of the best main camera sensors on any smartphone, regardless of price. So I think that is definitely going to appeal to a lot of people. We do have a pop of color with the mint green power sleep button on the right hand side of the phone. Google is famous for doing that and adding a splash of color with their devices. Uh, we have a headphone jack up top. There's a cutout for the front facing eight megapixel selfie camera and a nearly edge to edge 1080p OLED display. What's not found here is the squeeze to activate the Google Assistant functionality, which was found in previous Pixel devices, but you can still swipe in from the edge of the screen to activate the Assistant in a, a fairly quick manner. Now, there is only downward facing speakers, so that's kind of a bummer, and unfortunately, there is no wireless charging, which is kind of obvious for the price of this device, but there were some reports suggesting otherwise, and that kind of got my hopes up. But for $349, you get quite a lot in both the hardware and software departments. Stock Android with regular updates straight from Google is great to have, especially knowing that Google will support this phone for at least the next three years. You don't really get that guarantee with a lot of other devices in this price range. But one thing to note is that the 5G variant of the Pixel 4a is coming later this year, and this phone does not have 5G, so you will have to get that variant if you want 5G. I know that 5G is not a must-have right now, but if you do plan on holding on to this device for the next few years, it'll definitely factor more into your decision. With that said, it does cost an extra $150 more than the standard Pixel 4a. So those are my quick first impressions of the Google Pixel 4a. I wanna thank Google for sending this unit out for us to check out. Uh, the second I publish this video, I will switch over to using the Pixel 4a as my daily driver to test it out and just follow up with a full review in the coming days. Uh, the Pixel 3a was, was our best phone of the year last year. So I'm really excited to see how the Pixel 4a fares. With that said, I'm Bo HD from PhoneDog.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.